area. Hi, and welcome back to another session of yoga. Maybe. Hey. Hi, and welcome back to your yoga class. Today, we're just gonna check in on our body and see how we're doing. But we're gonna start on our back, so let's go there. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to your yoga class. Today, we're just gonna do a simple body check. Let's get started on our backs. Let's lay ourselves all the way down onto our backs. If you do have long hair and you practice with the ponytail, I'm gonna recommend that you take your ponytail out so the back of the head lays firmly on the mat and it's not lifted uh, and supported by the ponytail itself. Let's just take our hands and bring them to our belly. I like to sometimes interlace them, sometimes just place one hand on top of the other. And let's just, <coughs> excuse me, Let's just check in with how our body's feeling. Let's find some stillness for a few, let's say five rounds of breath. And in these five rounds of breath, start to notice how you're breathing. Notice any sort of tension that you may be holding on to. Notice the ease of the breath. Notice if it's even easy to breathe. Notice the tension or the lack of tension in your breath. And see if you can send all of your, your thought and your oxygen down to your belly so you relax the belly muscles. One more full breath into the nose. And exhale. One of the very first things I like to do when I do one of these body checks is kind of check in with how my spine is feeling. So I just lift my hips and move them to the left side and then let my knees fall over to the right side. And at first it may not be very a really big twist, it just may be a mild twist, but I just start to kind of notice how my lower back is feeling, how the rotation of the spine starts to affect my body. And just kind of hold here, and then just find a couple of moments to just, just relax into the pose. Very nice. One more full breath in. As you inhale. And exhale. Now slowly bring your knees back to center. Lift your hips up, slide your hips over to the right side, and then let your knees fall over to the left side. Now here again, you're just gonna kind of find some stillness. We're definitely not trying to go into our deepest twist. We're just kind of checking in with the body and seeing how it's feeling. Two breaths. Think about lengthening the inhales and then let the exhales be even longer than the inhales. That tells your body that it's time to go into a, a rest and digest. One more full breath in. And exhale out. Now, in no particular fashion, bring your knees back to center. Heel to the feet. Make sure your hips are in line. And then bring one knee into your chest. And then bring the second knee into your chest. Give it a nice big squeeze. And so we checked on the spine and noticed how it was rotating. Now let's bring our spine, our forehead. Let's, let's now round the spine and bring our forehead to our knees. And then let's lay it right back down. And let's do it again. As you exhale, lift the forehead, try to bring it to the knees, make it to yourself into a small little ball. And then exhale, relax, or inhale, relax. 
no real breath association here, although there can be. We're just kind of moving. Try both. And then bringing it right back down. And then one more time, exhale. Round the spine, lift your tailbone, lift the shoulders, lift the head, and slowly bring yourself right back in. Now, keep your right knee, send your left leg towards the front of the mat, and now just give it a little wag, a little wag back and forth. Now, even extend and kick the foot out. Notice how the back of the leg is feeling the hamstring. So here we're moving into your, uh, your right hip and seeing how the right hip socket is moving, as well as how your hip flexors are moving and, and how the, basically the groin is feeling. Going back and forth. And now even here we can make it even into a twist. So let's take it, let's take our right knee over to the left side and make a slightly deeper twist than we were in at the beginning. Try to keep your right shoulder down to the mat and if you can even look to the right side. One more full breath in, and then exhale, bring yourself right back in, bring your left knee into your chest, extend your right foot towards the front of the room, flex your foot, keep your toes pointing up, and then create free movement on the right hip socket. So it, sometimes it feels, or instructor says, move your knee around, but why don't you think of the movement coming from your thigh bone, and not even just from your thigh bone, but start to notice the ball and socket joint down in the hip socket itself. And that's what we're trying to lubricate, trying to figure out what that feels like. And then you can start to extend your foot, get moving sensations to the back of the hamstring, noticing how that feels. And then let's go into the twist, bring your left knee over to the right side, extend your left arm over, try to keep your left shoulder down to the ground, and if you can, look over towards the left side. Inhale, and exhale, bring your knee back into your chest, give it a nice big squeeze, very nice. Now bring both knees into your chest, give yourself a nice big hug, and this time on your inhale, extend your arms back and reach your left foot towards the front of the room. On your exhale, hug just the right knee, lift your shoulders up, keep your left leg lifted. On your inhale, reach your right foot, right foot forward, reach your arms back. And then on the exhale, bring your left knee into your chest. And again, inhale, reach back. And then exhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Try to keep your feet lifted, but if you need to, you can keep them onto the ground. Inhale, reach back, long extension. Exhale, bring your left knee into your chest. One more on each side, inhale, reach back. And then exhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Last time, inhale, reach back, make yourself super long, exhale, bring your left knee into your chest, and then give both knees a nice big squeeze, start to rock and roll forward and back, start to check in a little bit more on the spine, making, bring, making bigger movements, one more full breath, a round of breath, and then plant your hands, step it right back, and then here, is a great opportunity to put your hair back up. If you don't have long hair or you don't care about how your hair looks when you practice, just go ahead and start moving through cat and cow and let's continue the exploration of the spine. As you inhale, lift the head up and the tail up, hammocking the whole spine. And then on the exhale, round, draw the belly in, pushing the mat away from you. And let's repeat, inhale, head up, tail up. And then exhale, round the body, push the mat away from you. Let's do that two more times and see if we can make them just a little bit bigger. Inhale, hammocking the whole spine. And on the exhale, round, draw the belly, push the mat away from you. And let's do that one more time. Inhale, the head up and the tail up. And then exhale, round, draw the belly and push the mat away from you. Come right back to a neutral spine, curl your toes, hug your knees two, three inches off of the mat, and let's start to notice, how does our, our strength feel today? Can you root the hands and plant and push the mat away from you? Draw the belly in, one more full breath in, inhale, and then exhale, arrive in downward facing dog. Now, this first down dog, let's have our knees bent and let's pedal out the legs, the spine, a little bit of movement, back and forth, side to side, 
Yeah, pedaling out the legs. Notice what that feels like. Start to explore the body. Good. Now on your inhale, rock forward to a high plank. And on the exhale, take it back to downward facing dog. Using your thigh bones to take the hips all the way back. On your inhale, rock your way forward. How are your shoulders feeling? How are your wrists feeling? And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, rock your way forward to a high plank. And then exhale, arrive in downward facing dog. Now from here, let's rock our way forward. And nice and slowly, let's lower ourselves down onto our belly. And let's do some rounds of, of, of belly down back bends. On your inhale, lift the shoulders, lift the head, slightly press into the mat with your fingertips. And then scrub the fingertips back towards your feet and then away from the center of the chest. And start working the spine in a backwards direction as you inhale. And exhale, bring your forehead right back down. Let's do three more of those. Inhale, lift. And then exhale down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, come on down. Last one of those. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, bring yourself all the way down. Plant your hands, curl your toes with or without your knees. Push up high, plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take the journey to the top of the mat by lifting your right leg up, starting to move more awareness into the hip. And then exhale, let's put it down just a little bit in front of your left foot. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Notice how when you lift your left leg up, you start to feel more sensation in the back of the right leg. And then exhale, bring your left foot down, place it a little bit in front of your right. And then let's do it again. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring your foot, place it in front of your left. And then inhale, lift the left leg up. And then exhale, place it in front of your right. And let's continue this all the way to you get to a forward fold at the top of the mat. So just like literally walking your dog. You may notice that you may not go up your leg as high as you would normally do again. We're just checking in with the body. We're just noticing how the big muscle groups are feeling. One more on each side. Or two more if you're not there already. If you're already there, go ahead and just hang in a forward fold. Separating your feet six inches or so. Put a small bend into your knees, reach for opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy, and then sway a little bit side to side. Notice what it feels like to sway the hands and keep your feet somewhat stationary. And then notice what it feels like to sway the body weight back and forth from the left and the right side of your foot and little movement in the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, forward fold, letting the head hang heavy, looking underneath or behind you, looking to the back wall. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha. And exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, let's rise, putting a small bend into the knees. You can roll up. Sometimes there's a bit of a controversy over that, but as long as you're engaging your core, start to bring the spine to fully erect, standing up as tall as possible, and then inhale, lift your arms up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Let's continue moving. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back, and then your left leg back. Inhale, rocking your way forward, low push-up position. And then either cobra pose, the little baby cobra, or if you start to feel comfortable, go to upward facing dog. Slowly bring yourself down. Arrive in plank pose, either from up dog or cobra, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Let's keep moving. Inhale, lift your right leg up. 
Exhale, step your right foot forward, top of the mat. Keep your fingertips down towards the earth. Lengthen the crown of the head forward. Maybe sink your hips just a little bit. And then exhale, forward fold to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, urd bahasasana, reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg back, then step your right foot back. On your inhale, rock forward, then slowly low push up position to Chaturanga, and then inhale, up dog or again, low baby cobra pose. Think about taking the head of the shoulders and moving them back, and then exhale through plank pose to downward facing dog. Full breath in, and exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring your knee in towards your chest, step it forward. Keep your fingertips onto the mat. Think about your, like you're about to start a race and scrub your fingertips towards the back of the room. Lean your head, crown the head forward, chest forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, standing up, arms all the way up, and exhale, hands to heart center. Let's continue, let's add on. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot, then your left foot back, rock forward, chaturanga. Inhale, to your upward facing dog. Exhale to the downward facing dog. Let's lift our right leg up towards the ceiling. Good. Now hold right here. Now try to it, it, try to engage your left glute, and as you start to squeeze your left glute muscle, you'll notice that your right hip starts to lift up and open up, and then maybe bend the, le the knee of the sole of the foot. Now here, you'll notice that you step, tend to lean away from your right hand. So here, put more weight into your right hand. And then maybe even pop up onto your left fingertips, starting to notice how your one arm strength is happening and how your balancing is checking. Maybe just lift your left arm up just a little bit. Maybe bring your hand to the heart. You're going to hang out right there for a moment. And then bring your hand back or place it down. Extend your right leg and then bring it forward to the top of the mat. Spin your back leg heel down and warrior one. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, warrior two. So we're just checking in with the big major joints of the body. So let's keep moving. Inhale, straighten out your right leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach your right hand towards the front of the room by sending your right hip back. And then bring your hand. This is a great place for a block. I would always have a block nearby. Then you're going to slowly lift your left arm up towards the sky. You extend in many directions in the right hand direction the left hand the crown of the head the tailbone and your feet you're reaching one full breath in inhale and exhale bend your knee inhale reverse the warrior reach your right arm up try to stay low on your right hip keep reaching Ooh. balance reach it all the way back and then exhale, windmill your hands all the way down to the mat, step it back, high plank. Lower yourself down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the same thing on the left side. Lift your left leg up. Left leg reaches up. Good, now here, try to squeeze your right butt cheek. And as you squeeze your right butt cheek, you'll notice that that lifts your hip up and it opens it up. And you start to feel a lengthening on the inner right groin. Bend your knee, and it's like you're trying to stomp on the side wall. Notice how that knee puts less weight on your left hand, and let's counteract that by lifting up onto your right fingertips. Then from here, maybe come up to just one fingertip. Keep pushing the mat away from you with your left hand. Maybe you bring your hand to the middle of the mat. Maybe you bring it up to your heart. You're reaching. Then you take your hand, place it all the way back, extend your left leg, and then exhale, step the foot all the way forward, top of your mat. 
Warrior one, inhale, lift your arms up. And then exhale, warrior two. Now, do you have to lift one hand up? The answer is no. You can keep both hands down on the ground firmly. Just keep them there. Not in warrior two, of course. Previous pose. Sit yourself down a little bit lower. Then straighten out your left leg. Then from here, think of your left thigh bone rotating down towards the ground and then allowing your pelvis to tilt. Have your block handy. Arrive in second, uh, in uh, triangle pose. Breathe, full breath and inhale. And exhale, bend your knee. Then from here, reverse the warrior. Maybe this time we won't, we won't fall in a reverse warrior. And then exhale, bring your hands all the way down. Step it back, high plank. Inhale, rock your way forward, lower down, low push-up position. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice, full breath in, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rock your way forward. Let's check in a little bit more on how we're feeling strength-wise. Let's start on our left side. Take your left hand, move it slightly in towards the middle of the mat, or you can keep it there up to you. Then you're gonna tilt your, move your, your heels to the left side. You're gonna feel the rotation of your upper arm rotate so the eye level points towards the front of the mat, and then reach your left arm up, your right arm up. Now from here, your top leg can be placed in front. This is a more modest variation. Now I'm gonna recommend this variation over the, the variation where your bottom knee is on the ground and your other legs extended. This is also a very acceptable pose. But since we're checking in with our strength, I'm gonna recommend this one because we can still activate the whole bottom chain of the body. One more full breath in, inhale. And exhale, come back to high plank. Now, let's check in with the other side. Move your right hand just a little bit or leave it right where it's at. Stack your shoulders, shoulders, and arms. Again, if you need the more modest variation of it, take your top leg and put it out so your heel is a little bit lower than your hip. And then push your foot into the ground and push the knife edge or the pinky side of your foot down and feel this inner chain of the arm, the side body, and the outer leg. One more full breath and inhale. And then exhale, take your hand down. Inhale, rock your way forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in through the nose, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, bend the knees. You get an opportunity to jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Reach your arms up, full breath in. And then exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way down. And because we're already here and it would be a sin not to, Navasana. Just for a few moments. You can hang, you can place your hands behind your thighs, lift your sternum, lift your chest, take the back of the ponytail towards the back of the room. You can't extend your leg, that's up to you. One more full breath in, inhale. Slowly exhale, low boat. Check in our core, check in with our grit and our determination. How is that today? One more full breath in. And then exhale, relax. Now again, I'm gonna recommend that every time you are on your back, you remove your ponytail. I know that that seems really extreme at times, but I think in the long run, your neck will thank you. It also, it, it takes us away from this neck and head leaning forward, and it just kind of settles the back of the, that settles the head into the back. Let's it move. Constructive rest pose. Knees knock in. Notice how just this simple, or, or, or it's very, very kind of simple flow, how that makes your body feel. How do you feel? As we start to wind down this body check-in. 
So let's take a moment in here to just kind of simply review. We started in with the spine. We started to, you know, notice how is the spine moving today? Moved in and we did a little bit of hips. Did some warriors. Did some flowing. We did the sun salutations, which are already built in as great warm-ups. There's forward folds. There's forward extension, back extensions. There's a little bit of strength. We checked in with our shoulder mobility, our shoulder strength as well. Now, we also checked in with our one arm strength with the side planks as well as the side body, but we still have one more thing to check in on. So here, you're going to extend your feet forward. You can take your foot, left foot, move to the left side and then take your right foot and place it right on top of the left ankle. Take your right hand, reach it up, and then arc your body and move your finger, your right fingertips to the left side and take your left arm and reach back. You can even grab your wrist. So what we're doing here is now checking in on the side bodies, side body stretch. And, and think less local and more global. So can you think of the whole side body stretch from your heel all the way to your pinky? One more full breath in. And exhale. Now let's take our foot. Right foot move to the right side. Adjust the upper body. Take your left ankle, cross it right on top of your right. Take your left hand, swing it up and over. Think global from your heel all the way to your pinky, side body stretch. Just two, three breaths as you inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly release the arms. Release the feet. Make yourself nice and comfortable. And then just let the shoulders relax. Let your arms open up, palms facing up. Snuggle yourself into your mat. Take a full deep breath in. And then side out. You get a minute to check in with your mind. Now, instead of trying not to think of anything, see if you can scan the room with your ears. What are the sounds of your surroundings? We're just about at that 30 minute mark, maybe a little bit over. Start to lower your toes. If you can, stay here a little bit longer, stay here a little bit longer. If you only have those 30 minutes of your time, put more movement in, bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a nice big squeeze. Take your right arm and reach it behind you. Roll over to the right side of your body. Use your hands to slowly lift yourself all the way up and then come into a seat. Any comfortable seat that feels right to you. It's been such an honor to instruct you through your practice today. Thanks for pressing play. We'll see you again soon. Namaste.